Welcome back. We are here on eToro looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Tuesday, uh, December 10th, 2020. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon where you can get access to our full technical analysis, our signal service, and also our live trades and courses. And we'll start by looking at the US dollar index. And as you can see, we have steadily started to appreciate in the US dollar index, but this just looks like very weak growth. So there's a lot of noise in the market today. The Nasdaq fell significantly, mainly due to depreciation here, but also due to the stimulus talks in the United States. So that's a buying opportunity for the Nasdaq because course it will increase in time and the cheaper it gets the basically buyer the base the basically the better opportunity it is but we also saw uh, most commodities fall today but also some big rises for example gold fell significantly and also oil fell um, today as well in the part of the day but recovered also so it's been basically all over the place so if you look at the technical indicator for the US dollar index, they are starting to look more bullish. We are still on the edge of being oversold. The, the CCI is becoming uh, more positive. The same goes for the stochastic and also the MACD is turning around. But I don't think that we're going to go much higher than the 20 exponential moving average. That is at 91.58. So if we rally up to here, then of course we'll see uh, more bearishness in the commodities market indices and so on so let's look at oil so as you can see we have basically been all over the place rallied up towards the 60 uh, 46 point, uh, uh, 29 and then decreased uh, down to uh, 45.06 but we haven't broken this uh, 45 level and i did expect us to break and go all the way down to 44 that was where i thought we were going but we'll probably go there within the next day so these are the previous uh, highs here at 30 uh, 33.5 but the 20 exponential moving average is probably be uh, it's going to be the bottom of this market before we rally again if you see the technical indicators they are looking more bearish in this market so You'll probably see an increase in the U.S. dollar index and a decrease in the in the in, uh, in gold and also in in uh, in oil. And then when we start depreciating again, we'll see this market go higher. So target here is most likely fifty dollar range, and uh, we'll trade in between the fifty and all the way down to the forty thirty five dollar range uh, in the coming future. But at this point. If we get down to the 20 exponential and that proves to be um, supportive, then that is a possible buy-in for this market. So no one's just basically shorting this until we basically break the 20 exponential and head towards the 50 or even lower. So we'll start by looking at natural gas as well. So as you can see, we have tried to rally, but it, it really failed. So. This is not a good sign for natural gas. We rallied up towards uh, 2.5 and then de uh, decreased again. So at this stage, I think we are almost certain that we're going towards that 20, uh, 200 moving average. And that's around 2.2447. And that will be interesting whether or not we find major support there and can start buying this again towards the 20 exponential and the 50. Um, at this point, no interest is basically buying this or selling this. It is a complete gamble to enter this market at this stage. So let's look at gold. So as I said yesterday, we are seeing just more of the same. We found major resistance here at the 50, and the day we absolutely collapsed nearly 2%. And uh, yes... What can I say? It's just more of the same. We we rally up towards the 50 and we pull back. Rally up to 50, pull back, 50, pull back. If we rally above, then we have a massive pullback and so on. And we're just going the same way. So I think that we're just going to go up and down, up and down 
all the way towards 2021 or basically in January 2021, where we'll see most stimulus packages and basically um, expansionary monetary policies uh, go into action and uh, we'll see gold increase. So we have this triangle here. We didn't even get close to that. And uh, we have another one here. And what I think is going to happen is that we are just going to travel sideways um, towards the corner here of this triangle. And that is basically in next year. So we may head towards the upper part. That is possible, but expect this to happen. We may head towards the lows here and then expect this to happen. So I see these as uh, selling and buying opportunities every time we get close to these uh, two resistance line and support line. So I don't think we're going to see significantly high levels until we break above this resistance line. And at this point, first of all, we need to break the 50 moving average in order to go higher. And we did not do that. The 200 moving average, of course, will also act as a support. But if we go down towards this um, support line, then we expect this to rally. So selling opportunity, buying opportunity. If you look technical indicators for gold, they are all over the place. CCI is negative, uh, RSI is negative, but MACD and uh, Stochastic are still fairly bullish. So hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing. Hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much. Thank you.